All right, all right. So we've talked about options. We've talked about the ready column. Now we're going to talk about the today column. And with that, I'm going to introduce you to the second, and in my view, even more powerful rule of the Kanban process. And that's the, they're the only rules. There's two. One, remember, it must be visual. You must have a physical board somewhere where you can see it, where you can run into it literally every day. You can't possibly avoid it. All of our, all of us low follow throughers need that. It won't work. If you put this in a book, if you try to do this in a computer program, it will not work. It will fail. Right, so that's rule one, must be visualized. We must be able to visualize it. Rule two is we have to limit the whip. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? What's a whip? Are we talking cracking a whip? It's whip, W-I-P, work in progress. Now this is uh, you know, such a counterintuitive, counterintuitive concept. But have you ever noticed in life that the most counterintuitive concepts are actually the most powerful and that have probably made the most dramatic changes. This right here is a doozy. And it goes like this. And this is actually, you know, agile and software development and Scrum and Kanban and all these things all came from agile, which in itself came from the lean manufacturing process, uh, which was invented by Toyota. And basically what they worked out was that the, the speed of delivering a car was dictated by the work that took the longest at the slowest point. And it made no sense. If you tried to build up more capacity, then all, of, all you would do is at this point, which was the, say it's the engine, creating the engine is the slow part all this work here if you you know if you can do as much work as you like here but all you'll have is a whole huge expensive po uh, stockpile of parts sitting there waiting because the engines can only churn out x amount right that's all they can do conversely if you have too little here then all of a sudden everybody downstream of this slowest point they can't do any work well guess what do you know who the whip is in your business? You and me. We are the bottleneck. I'm just visualizing nodding of heads. Typically, in most businesses that I work with, the bottleneck is you. That's cool. But trouble is, you know, the ball juggling, when we're juggling all our balls, as soon as we get that over capacity, guess what? We drop things and typically not only does the one ball get dropped but everything drops and then you set back and then all of a sudden you're out of the process you're out of flow and boom that's where the wheels drop off okay so what they discovered is by limiting the amount of work coming into this bottleneck they actually produced more and better cars because by focusing on the slowest point and by manufacturing, they got the flow. If you imagine, you know, the difference between, you know, think about a stream or a river, you know, the, the stream flows, but if you, and if you look at it from way up high, it just looks like beautiful flowing water. Now, if you go down and you look close enough, there's boulders and rocks and there's rapids and slow parts, but there's never any stagnant parts, you know, stagnant, uh, you know, because if anything goes stagnant, it, what, you get, Nile River virus, you get mosquitoes, you get smelly, you get blue-green algae. It's bad news, right? We need things to keep flowing. Yet in our business, we have the equivalent of stagnant ponds where things just stop and you drop everything because something's happened that's thrown in a wrench. Now for online businesses, typically this is technical tasks, right? That, that you have that. And because we're so into that part of the process because we don't have something visual where we can look at the whole of everything that's going on, everything stops, okay? And then we get stagnation happens, mosquitoes breed, everybody gets Nile River virus and we all die, metaphorically speaking. But this is what's happening. So now with a visual system, we can say, well, okay, this thing blew up and is stuck 
but we've got all of these other things here in our ready column that we could potentially move into our today. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. So the today column, notice how small it is. In fact, for me, I've deliberately made it so it can only fit two post-it notes. And this is the key to limiting the whip. On a daily basis, I make the decision when I walk in the office in the morning, I go, what? Let's have a look at, because things change, right? The way you looked at the world on Monday may be completely different to what it is here on Wednesday. So I um, have a look when I come in and I'm, you know, funnily enough, my ticket here is shoot week two Kanban. I'm doing it, right? And I've got that ticket there and I put that in. Why? Because I am limiting my whip. Here's the deal. Start less, finish more. This is what the American car companies didn't figure out this lean manufacturing. And they couldn't work out how Toyota could become so efficient. And it was because, conversely, they were limiting the amount of work that was in front of anybody at one particular time to the real capacity of what that person has. And when you do this with your own life, amazing things happen. It'll take some time and some effort to get used to it, but it is the most powerful thing. And I'm talking to you one person bands and people who are doing this on a part-time basis, hoping to make it a full-time. This right here, this here is where the stuff ups happen and where the magic happens. So each morning I look at my day and I go, okay, what's today look like? What's come up? What's, what's the environment? And then I pull one ticket into my today. Okay, and guess what? I work on this ticket until it is done. It is finished because I wanna move it into my done column. Okay, and that's what I need to do. Now, some of you might be saying, well, hang on, what if it takes two days to do? Well, then I'm a one in follow through. I'm gonna cheat. I'm going to break, I'm going to create two tickets then, if that's the case. And my first ticket is going to be a very detailed description of what I can get finished today. So I know I can move that ticket into the done column because that's what I want. I want to see that achievement. And then I break out the second. There's no rules about that. But the rule is you need to limit the work that you are doing on. And my recommendation for you right now is to limit that to one until you can feel. Because again, if I finish this, which I will, there's no rule why I can't pull this one, which is what I've got to do next, which you know, which is do some email copy. There's no law that says I can't do that after this, right? But at least I'm in control because what happened? Hello Kitty could burst through this door with an explosive vest on and take me hostage. I couldn't plan for that, right? Anything could happen. But I could get a phone call this very next second that I need to go to school and pick up the kids because they've fallen over. Touch all available wood, that doesn't happen. Do you see where I'm going with this? But if I get this one ticket out of the way, I have seen flow, I have seen progress. And as we'll talk about when we get to the done column, one of the things we are denying ourselves as entrepreneurs is this feeling of completion, of seeing progress and flow. Because if you're doing that, guess what? You are refueling your willpower and enthusiasm bank accounts, or fuel tanks, stop mixing my analogies and metaphors. You're, by seeing progress, you're giving yourself an enthusiasm injection to continue to keep going. Again, another reason this visual process is so powerful. So, key rule for moving something in today, you move one right now. Now, you may find that you're completely comfortable moving two in. Okay, that's cool. But the rule right now, while we're getting used to it, is one. And guess what? We do nothing else, right? Stuff may happen. I may get a phone call. You know, the boss may come in and hand you a project and say, this must be done now immediately. You know, you might have to go to a school parent teacher evening at short notice. All of those things might happen. Okay. But here's the thing. I will finish this. And I'm not gonna introduce anything else into my process until I've either A, finished it, or B, I didn't finish it, because that can happen, nobody's perfect, and I have to move it into the pen, right? Which is the holding tank for things that are waiting on other people 
or that you didn't complete. But I'm not going to pull other stuff from my ready column. Now, let's say it's now it's uh, what is it? It's 10.36 in the morning. And let's say for whatever reason, I couldn't shoot anymore. Now, interruption, the camera, the camera breaks. That's a great one. Don't break camera. But let's say the camera broke, so I could not do any more filming. Typically, what would happen is that would send people into such a spin that nothing else would get done. But guess what? I've got a visual process here. I know that this email stuff is important. So guess what? Boom. Bam. Straight into the today column and I'll work on that emails. So I've got a plan B. I've got a plan C because everything is visual. Now, if you've got a big to-do list in front of you, remember the difference between a map and a list of street names, a list of gas stations, a list of banks? Which one can you absorb information quicker? For us, slow follow through types, this visualized process is just extraordinary. Like the difference it will make is just unbelievable. So that's the today column and the very, very important lesson of limiting the whip. Start less, finish more. That's the incredibly counterintuitive advice which has just changed business after business that I've worked with. Particularly, as I say, when you're working with yourself, when you've got a job that you're doing which is paying the mortgage, it's going to be so much better for you. So that's it. Now, in our next video, we're going to talk about the pen.